Hey everyone, <laughs> hey everyone, hey everybody, my name is Roberto Flores and we're here with another um, episode of working with this Mustang Z or Zephyr. Uh, today we're going to do the same thing, starting with those basics that we've been working on and then um, go into the saddle. My plan going in here, and you always, always, you always, always <laughs> want to have a plan when you walk into the um, your session is to, to have a plan so you don't just aimlessly work and what i'm going to shoot for is trying to get that saddle not only on but the cinch on um now we'll see what she says if she says yeah i like that cinch put it on and then she also says you know this is not that bad then she's telling me hey let's keep on going so then i might you know ask for a little bit more movement than just you know okay good she stood with the saddle on but if she also says hey this is too much right now then i'll just go ahead and just again go on to the saddling but at least we get something accomplished so going with the goal your goal might change a little bit especially with these greener ones but um yeah we'll go ahead and do it yesterday or the last episode i talked about um trying to get your horse and how like when sometimes you're trying to go get that horse that you just got that mustang they sometimes want to go away from you instead of being as friendly as you might be used to um so then you might want to push them around a little bit sometimes you might need to push them around a little bit more sometimes a little bit softer than too much and then you go ahead and catch them because they know they get the concept you know okay if I, if I if this guy comes in and tries to catch me and i go away he's gonna make me work so i'll just stand here but i want you guys to know that it's not always just hard work so i'm gonna come in here and act like i can catch her like she'll let me but immediately i already can see that she won't now i'm going to try to kind of play my cards here and see what we have i already see that she's already thinking of leaving so i'm going to take a t take a step back she's already thinking of kind of leaving but i can already see that it's a little bit better than how it was before before as soon as i would walk she would just go Pshh! and now she's just like uh 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 thinking about it but not moving so i see that that's progress you want to notice those things instead of thinking ah they're just the same because no they're always trying and there's there's a look now i'll walk up to her i can see her trying to jitter jatter Now I'll walk towards her because she looked away. Gotta keep walking towards her. And I'll stop. And I'll walk towards her again. And when she looks at me, then I'll stop, stop. And what I mean by stop, stop is actually just seeing, uh, letting everything calm down for a sec. Letting her realize that I just walked up. Nothing really happened. What's different is that she's on her right side. Usually I get her on her left side. So it's going to be changing things up for her for a little bit. I'm going to walk away because she looked at me just a little. I'm going to stay here for a sec. Let her realize that I'm here. And then we'll go on and forth. If you guys noticed, different shirt. Not the same shirt. Alrighty. Oh, and comfortable shoes. Okay. Walk up like I know her. Oh, she stopped. She didn't turn, so I'll just walk away. Mic check. Cool. And let's walk up again. There's a little lick lick. That was nice. Now, because she's a lot better than how she has been, instead of just quickly turning and going, she's just slowly turning and sometimes thinking about not. That's progress. So I'm not going to quite push just yet. Don't want to just resort to that just because it's a tool. You want to play your cards right. Now she's kind of starting to go back to how she did before. Back over here. Head goes down. She's thinking. She looks at me. Again, this side's a little different. I usually approach her on her left. This side. Notice how I'm not facing her with my chest, facing her with my side. It's a less uh, stressful. Hi. She says, uh, no hi, go away. And I'm like, but no. She's like, uh, yes. I'm gonna try one more time. Just walk up to her like I know her. Act like I've done it a thousand times. And if she does the same thing, then I go ahead and get my whip and push her. So just go ahead and watch.
Okay, she had her chance right there. Now I'm going to push her the other way because she wants to go this way. We're going to only try to go two times. Nice and soft like this. Slowing down. So that little head tuck, giving a little bit of attitude. But it's not bad attitude, so don't get so grumpy about it or loud about it. Let's ask for... Oh, something fell. Everything good. You guys are still there. Alrighty, you guys are there. Sorry I dropped you. It's just... Okay, now that's in. Boom. Boom. Letting her rest a little. Going back. And... Alrighty. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back and push. Gonna go back like if I didn't even do those circles, so there's one. Trot half of this one and lope it. Lope this next one. All we gotta do is just tap the ground and we'll stop and we'll back, drop the whip. She's licking, she's understanding that if she goes, okay. I don't want to pick up that whip again, so I'm just going to throw this rope. Nice and soft. Let's do one more circle. And... There we go. Let her stop for a sec. You don't want to go up when they're moving, because then they're just going to keep on doing what they're doing, which is moving. So wait till they stop, so it kind of gives you a better chance. All right, let's go ahead and go back up. Again, this is the right side. Well, let's act like we know her. So, oh, as soon as I went up to her, she was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, she did that, so I don't want you guys to feed into that when you're walking up to them and they're like, uh, 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 uh. Act like it's nothing and it will be nothing. And then you'll be able to pet them instead of going, uh, oh, don't do that don't do that and then you pet them you just cause a problem alrighty we'll go up and that'll probably slow down just a little bit here not really it's better ahead I'm gonna push her this way thank you good girl look at that now I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna go underneath her you guys have seen me you know go from here to here to here stay there while I get this and go like that and then just slide it over. I'm gonna try something a little different because you know, why not? I'm gonna come here, pet her here, go like that. Oh, good girl. Before that, I used to scare her a lot, so that's why I would do it the other way. Now I'm doing that to see. She just accepts the halter the way it is and just gets used to it and grows and knows the halter is the halter. Doesn't matter how you put it on, buddy. If you put it on me, everything's okay. Thank you. Now let's go. Just keep walking. If you get a jump a horse, you're not going to look at the obstacle, you're not going to look at the ground. You're not going to look at your horse. When you jump an obstacle, you look where you're going, or where you're going to be. Same thing when you're with your walking. Don't walk and your horse gets a little sticky like she just did and be like, let's go, let's go. You know, because you're not, you're, not, you're not going where you're going, you're not being that leader, so why is there a reason to follow you if you're just staring at them? Plus, it's a little intimidating. So now that we've done our review, now we're going to go on to the saddle part. Um, that's white. So with, um, I want to talk really quick about the whole lunging thing. I want to make sure that while you're doing that, you, um, how we, you know, don't ever go to the side. Whatever you do, just plant your feet. Don't ever go, let's go, because that doesn't do anything. On your horse to respect you and step to the side and go. Don't make any exceptions or your horse is going to regress somewhere else and lose respect for you. So just don't. Besides that, I also want you to um, 
make sure that when you bring that hand out telling your horse to go that way or this way that your lead rope is in that hand that you're pointing to and then your other hand is you know that gap that'll behind their hind end but you want to make sure that you're not going out this way and out like here because now you're saying go left and right at the same time so you want to make sure if you're going to say go left and if I need to get more gas, this hand is gonna go forward instead of going out this way. Yeah, so make sure again, if you're gonna go that way, it's gonna go here, you're gonna go here, and then I'm going to say, okay, you need more gas, here you go, instead of going like that, or like in a diagonal. Same thing the other way, point, rope is in that hand, and then your other hand, either if you have the excess rope or a whip or just your hand, you go straight, yeah, so you don't go like that. Okay. No, I didn't. So with this uh, part, we're going to put the uh, pad on and then we're going to go ahead and put the saddle on and we'll try to see if we can get, and we'll try to see if we can get the uh, cinch on. Mm. Okay. So we're going to put the pad on and then the saddle, we're going to go from and back up. That was better. That was nice. Switch to the other side. The wind is not helping me, and that's okay, you just make do with what you got. Nice. Change spots. I'm going to turn her around so I can actually get that pad a little bit more of a touch on that side. There we go. It was fighting me on the other side. Nice. Now we're going to get just the saddle. Again, this is a light saddle, but there's still some weight to it. So she feels it, but also so I don't get so tired. Alrighty, and up and down, and up and down, up and down. If it hits your shin, sorry, just keep going. You're on a good roll, because that stirrup can sometimes hit your shin, and it feels really good. Alright, so she's telling me, well, that's kind of different. I don't know if I like it yet. And I just say, it's okay, you don't have to like it. Just know I kill you, and you're not gonna die. She's like, oh really? A okay. little bit better pet her with my left. Just talk. Really, honestly, that talking just really help you. Go here, and again. Go back to there, pet. Nice. Do the same thing on this side because you might be comfortable doing something on one side versus the other and you want to make sure you do the same thing on the other side. I know that I can both sides pretty good but I'm more comfortable on this side. Nice. So I make sure I make myself uncomfortable on the other side while I still make sure I have all my I have to be. That's why you want to make sure you're rolling too loose. You're standing right at that shoulder. You got your hands where they should be. Your feet aware. You're talking. You know what you're doing on this side. And you're petting. So you always do the thing you're most uncomfortable with. Like that. There you go. Good job. All right. We're going to place that down. And I'll show you how to combine the two. Saddle pad. Now when I throw the saddle on, I like to do it from the left side when I'm gonna be ready to do the cinch because it allows me to throw this on this side and do less trips on unbuckling the cinch, re-getting the cinch, and so on and so forth. I do two trips, not even, I just do one instead of uh, two or three. If you throw it on from the left side, which is the usual side, then you throw it over, 
that's number one. You go into the other side, undo it, that's number two. Gotta walk back in front to the other side so you can get the lot to go through that cinch, that's number three. And in that time, the horse could have already thought, I don't like it. So you wanna make sure, you know, you just go from the left side, up and over, undo the cinch. Now you just got one movement, go over, boom, put it on, and leave them alone. It's a little bit less work. So we're gonna go over here. I like to think of it as I have a certain amount of time before they start to really realize what's going on. And I don't want them to realize it when I'm next to them, because I want them to be a little free. When I come back, they're like, hey dad, or hey mom. I didn't die, but man, it was scary. So now we're gonna put this over here. And you can do it, you know, with one hand, and then get this, and put it over like so, and get it on there. Or you can just combine the two and really still make sure you're using your right hand to because even though you have it sandwiched in there, you're going to add your left hand to maneuver the saddle. Don't just trust um, one hand to do it all. We're going to go here. I'll show you that sandwiched again. And up and over. It was a little sloppy, but we got it. Alrighty, I'm gonna just do the pad. Now I'm just gonna come over here and do like that. And now I'm going to drop that cinch, make an estimate of okay, it needs to be a little lower. Talking if you're nervous and if you've done this your first time. Because you don't want to make them feel like there's a reason to be nervous. Now when I go in front, I want to be aware that this is going to be on the left side. So I'm just going to show you, take it off, we'll do it again. This is going to be hanging when I go to the right side, or to the left side, or to the other side. The horse is going to be realizing, wait, that wasn't, my body's blocking it right now. So just make sure you're aware of that when you go in front and cross to the other side, because in that second, they can go over you, because you're in front, or they could be trying to go away from it, going that way, and you're on that side. So just make sure you're aware of all that, and you have all your hands and your rope where they should be. She did really good with that, and I really like how she did. She just stood there and dropped her head. So I'm going to rest this on my left, put this over there. Now I know if she left, she wouldn't take my left. I'm gonna fix all my stuff again. With one hand, so I'm going to, I think. Okay. Then I'm gonna come back to here, grab my rope, grab the saddle pad, throw it on, throw this on, put this down, fix it so it's good, get my rope, move her head back here, good. She's standing a little funky, so what I might do is bring this down here, move her a little, nice, bring this over that way. Oh, kind of pulling her, that's why she's moving. And let's fix that. Nice. Over again. Alrighty. So I'm going to go in front of her. Still aware that that's different now. But now I'm going to treat it like as if I threw it on this side. So now I'm not going to make a big deal about it because I know throwing it on her back on this side. So just for, you know, so you guys can see, I'm going to put that up there. And see how I have my ladder go? I'll explain how I have it set up in a sec. I'm gonna pet her belly and go back down and down. And I can't find it. <laughs> there we go. And I'm just gonna hold it here. I'm going to make sure that I still have her head this whole entire time while I try to be effective and just get this ladder go through. Now I feel like her starting to wake up and realize, you know, what's going on and she doesn't really like it and that's okay. Gotta go back here. She didn't like the sound of that. What's going on here? I made an oopsie. All right. Gotta put it through the top one. So what a good girl for letting me fix my mistake. Gotta act like nothing. I'm not trying to be too quiet. 
because then you're going to psych your own self out and you're not going to be on your toes and ready. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up the cinch then drop this. I'm not going to worry about pinching up that tent yet because I just want this to be on her because she's never really had this on. Now it's on snug and it just so actually I'm going to do one more maybe two more there we go. Okay now I got to hurry up get that cinch on don't worry about that resting piece put this here I'm not going to let go of her. Get to push her forward, push forward, push forward. There we go. Take a deep breath and rest, but push her forward. Don't let her slow down, don't let her stop. Now I know, okay, she knows the stirrups are there. Now I know she knows the saddle's on. Now I know that she can feel that tightness while she's moving, and she's the same. She was doing a good job of making me believe that she wasn't going to like it. The reason why at that moment I said I have to hurry up is because I started to see her body shift weight and she was about to start moving. Now, some of you might be quick on your feet and really quick with your hands. Some of you might not be. So you just want to make sure that you get it in that hold. You make sure that you get them, you get that cinch on and then get out of there. All right, so she's now trotting with it. She's going to start going now. That's why I have her head. Letting her go, letting her go. Got to stop her. And I don't want this saddle to go off to the side. So I'm going to push it over a little bit. There we go. She's a little chunky bunny. going just keep going my pressure is not going to increase she's already stressed out enough there's no reason for you to get loud just keep pushing gently she'll start thinking about how she's scared and you're calm there's a reason to follow you why are you so calm roberto i say oh because you're actually you're okay i'm here she's like oh i'm still scared and then you say i know but keep going you'll be fine and she's gonna be like yeah i don't think so but okay you're calm and I'm going to say that's right. There you go. Now I'm going to get her head. I want to keep her head here. I don't want that butt to face me. I'm going to fix everything. I'm going to double check it. I'm going to tighten up this cinch a little bit. Slowly. Don't just go bam. Yeah. Slowly. There. Two holes up. Pull to tighten. Now fix that ladder go. What's that noise? All right, now we're gonna go here. Now we're gonna push her forward. Keeping my pressure the same, let my left hand is out because she's not going yet. Tap butt, tap butt, tap butt, tap butt. Come on, there you go, let's get some speed. Feet are moving, mind doesn't think as much. You don't want them to think worry, you just want them to think, oh, I gotta move forward. Because you want them to move forward when you're on them. Now sometimes, do I let go of, you know, the halter and the lead rope and just let them go? I do. But she's a different horse. I felt, you know, okay, she respects the halter enough to where if she decided to really go, I can pull her towards me and then I can quiet her down. Because, you know, sometimes it does... Sometimes it does work to, um, you know, let them go and figure it out on their own while they're tossing and whirling about it. But sometimes it's also good to just say, hey, come down, come here. And then, the, and then they shake out of the whole mindset of just, you know, going crazy. I know you're worried. Let's go the other way. I'm going to get out of her way because I want it to make it easy for her. There you go. You see right there, she didn't lunge like she usually does or switch like she usually does. She's a little bit more like, I got to get out of here. This saddle's weird. Now, I don't care about this saddle not fitting her if you guys can't tell it doesn't she's wider than this i just want her to you know get the constant of stirrups and it's a light saddle a saddle i don't use often so she messes it up it's totally cool i know some of us don't have that luxury let's stop her and come over here still getting that head with my rope fixed over there 
Don't let her come over you. Keep pushing her forward. There you go. Nice. Keep her trotting. There we go. Nice. I'm going to keep my peripheral vision on her. Got to let her rest there for a sec. I'm going to let her look to the right if she wants. But I already can tell that if she really looked to the right, she's going to scoot diagonally towards me. I just so happen to be in that diagonal spot. I'm going to push her to the right. Wake her up a little bit to get her to step to the side first before she goes and she's like, oh, okay. And now we're just going to keep walking. She's walking fairly fast. I'm going to let her pick the speed because I can feel that she's not herself right now because she's walking faster. I see that. Be aware of things. Pick up that trot. Good. See that head come up, that head turns to the inside. She's looking at that saddle. She can see it. And I'm going to say, don't worry about it so much. Worry about it, but don't worry about it so much. Keep going forward, because I'm telling you to go. Listen to me. Trust me. That's why you're pushing them forward. You're not pushing them forward because you're trying to dominate them. You're, trying to push them. you're pushing them forward to help them. You're pushing them forward to get them to trust you. Because they already know what this all pressure of going forward means. So they're going to trust you even more because they're doing something that's different and listening to what they already know, which is this. And now they're going to start trusting you more because something's different, but nothing changes. Let her do all that. Don't get mad and start smacking her butt with the whip. Don't get mad and start smacking the floor harder. Don't get mad and raise up your hand and go, ha, ha, ha. Don't pull her head. Just keep your cool and keep pushing so you get that trot. There you go. Push again there. Still try even though you're pooping. I know I can't do it, but I know you can. <laughs> Pooping and trotting, man. You guys are talented, huh? Let's go the other way. Oh, sorry, my fault. Nice. Back up. Do something you know. See how she didn't? Now go back. You know this. You know this. There, back up again. I know it's scary. Come on. All right, up and down. Thank you. Side to side. No, come on. Back up. All right, now we gotta hurry up and get her to back up because she's not listening. She's thinking too much. There we go. Back up. Nice. Pet her. Let her know she did that good. Now she's looking. See, now she's thinking instead of trying to react. Back up again. You know this. There you go. Pet. Everything's good. And she's like, oh, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Everything is good. And I'm like, no, it's not. She's like, I'm sorry, you're right. Go. There you go. What a good girl, huh? How hard is it to be a horse? I'm telling you. Trailer here, go into a scary metal box there. Follow this person, get yanked by this person, go this way, that way. Everything is so, you know, you're out of control of everything, but you just have to, you still have to be good or people aren't going to like you. So it's hard, you know, you gotta have some sympathy. Try to help them a little bit more rather than going quick to be mad. All right, let's help her out a little bit. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna push her forward. I'm gonna tap her because she's not trotting yet. There we go. See how she's coming towards me? It's okay, just keep moving. The faster you go, the better it'll be. Come on, there you go. There you go. It's okay, come on. Don't want to tap her so much, so I'm going to the ground. Alright, sorry, my dog ran over our box. So we wanted to make sure. Alright, so we're back and uh, I just stopped her. But I want her to go to that left a little bit smoother because she's more hesitant on this side. So let's go at it again. I'll just fix this. Doo -doo. All right. There you go. There we go. 
Come on. You're okay. You're okay. Come on. There we go. That's good there. No. I don't mean that. I mean, keep going. Nice. Thanks for trotting. Come on. Thank you. Good. To the other side. Yeah. Not too bad, huh? Just like, I guess not. It's okay, check it out. She wants to look to the right, but she's a little worried too. It's okay. There you go. She really wants to check it out. It's kind of like when you see your closet open at nighttime when you're a little kid. So yeah, it's kind of like when you see your closet open at nighttime and you're like, oh, I need to go close it, but I'm kind of scared to look inside. It's the exact same thing, you know, it's like she wants to look, but she's scared to look because she doesn't know what's going to happen. And then when you go close that closet, nothing happens and you're like, oh man, my heart was racing for no reason. That's what's going on. Let's go ahead and pet her with the whip now. Staying on the side. I'm not going to stay in front of her and say, run me over. Get her pet her butt. Get her pet her legs. Do things we've already done noise and it makes noise on her and and on her uh, saddle I'm not gonna feed into it I'm gonna say yeah see look at you're still alive back up nice stay on the side pet the head not in front no see when I usually do this without the saddle does she look at me no because she knows that everything's okay but she tried to right there so I just you know gently push with my hand to get her head to look away. Nice. Nice. Boom. Good girl. Good girl. Again, I'm not having too much slack. Good. I'm not gonna expect her to fully relax. She's not, but I'm not gonna expect it because it's unfair. Pet here. Pet here. Slack. No slack. Come back in front. Now the taking off part. So what I'm going to do, and I'll explain before I do it, is I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to take off the uh, cinch. I'm going to keep her head facing towards me and then I'm going to not worry about going to the other side, putting the cinch back in the, you know, that cinch holder and then taking it off because I know she was pretty cautious about it. Sometimes, you know, if you want to take that extra leap of faith, um, go for it. I would suggest if your horse is a little bit and you're a little suspicious of them, you know, being a little too worried, you know, just slide it off. Don't worry about making it all neat before you slide it off. Just slide it off, place it down, say good job, call it good there, be fair. So let's go ahead and go forth that. All right, so I'm gonna bring her head over, not too much slack. I'm gonna take this out, take it out of the hole, I took it out of the hole. Now I'm going to, uh, what's going on? Oh, okay, now I'm going to lessen it. And now I know that if she freaks out, that saddle is off. I'm going to fix this ladder go real quick. Cool, now I'm gonna keep her head as I pull this off. Stay calm, wait. Now I'm gonna drop it. Now I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna first walk away, get her out of that different little spot. Then I'm gonna pet her. And now I'm gonna use this opportunity while she's more relaxed to be a little bit more friendly. I'm gonna maybe pet her over here and pet her over there. I'm gonna say, oh, you did so good. I'm gonna pet her there. Pet her in spots that, you know, I would be a little cautious of because it's kind of like when you met somebody and then they see you, you know, using the toilet, you just became a little bit more comfortable with that person because you kind of got a little bit more intimate. We just got a little bit more intimate. So 
So let's use that point to our advantage. Now when I pet her, I don't feel her as tense because she's like, oh, it saddles off, thank you. And I'm like, no problem, you owe me one. She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm kidding. Good. Wanna go check it out? Wanna go see that scary monster that touched you? She's like, no. Go ahead and check it out. She's like, nah, I'm good. Can I just go over to you? Actually, wait. Cool. Alrighty, so we're gonna end it there. I'm just gonna take it out and call it good. I want to make sure that my horse doesn't walk away from me. She's still looking. So I'm going to take this off and catch her. Ha uh ha. -huh. Off going to slide it over here I'm going to walk on the right side because we always take it off on the left side so she's gonna be used to you know walking away that way but now when I take it off she's not gonna be knowing where to go because I'm in that way so now she figures it out but she stayed there a little longer so that was cool all right so thanks guys hopefully that helps out stay tuned refer to the other stuff if you didn't know what I did in the beginning um, to the other uh, episode we're gonna move on from here and just keep on doing it see you soon God bless